Now we're at the co-op. We're paying a $120,000 bill. Dad, don't you love it? That's farming. Happy Monday. Slept in today. Uh, not going to leave with my first load till 730 because I have a meeting at 1030. So I wasn't going to be able to get two loads in. So I thought, well, why go early? So I'm going to make some eggs and to take off. I think I made coffee and never drank it. It's going to be a busy week. I say that every single week, but um, ah, time just never slows down. Okay, so something that JD was working on last week while I was hauling grain is he took two planter units over to our John Deere store and basically like this part was gummed up on them and uh, we're trying a, a large seed that we're not sure if it'll flow through our units correctly. We do think it will flow right if we have everything set up, um, but JD got a tool that helps make sure that these are all adjusted properly so glad that we got that taken care of we have uh four more loads of corn i need to haul that i have contracted i am planning on contracting some more i'll probably do some minimum price contracts so that i can kind of hope for some upside while still getting corn moved out bring stuff squared away ready to go um also my starter squared away ready to go should be getting delivered maybe next week if not possibly the following week now to haul more Okay, I am here at the plant. I just had to walk out. I couldn't see the trucks. Now I'm parked on the road. It's gonna be a long wait again. And it's snowing. You can't really tell too much. From the way that the trucks were positioned, I can't really tell where that last last line started. Um, honestly, there's like a massive piece of construction equipment <laughs> stuck on a trailer. I think they're just trying to get in but they're in line with all the trucks and that's technically who I should be behind. So that's, that's fun. In line with my third load. Wow, this feels so nice. I have one more load after this. I'm not gonna be able to get it done today, I don't think. Uh, I just had the biggest jump scare of my life. Someone yanked on my door and just opened the door and I said, oh my God. And he, he like looked at me and he's like, a wrong truck. So he just, he just he just walked into the wrong truck. Oh my god. Okay, barring any technical difficulties, we will get four loads in today. <sighs> okay, last load. It's snowing. The person ahead of me, their tarp went flying off, so people had to help them get their tarp. It just got real windy real quick. Huh. And also, the entire, like, two, two thirds of the drive, I had a state highway patrolman following me. Took all the turns I took. I was so so nervous I, I wasn't doing anything wrong i was not speeding i wasn't like swerving or anything like i was i was good but like he just kept following me making all the turns i was making so i was uh, very nervous but this is the last one that fills this twenty thousand bushel contract at poet i am so excited this one's done i think i am going to contract a little bit more in the coming weeks but uh probably elsewhere contracted some corn this morning to 1,000 bushels. Uh, I'm doing a minimum price contract. That's for July. Um, but JD's going to haul because I have some book work I need to do. So he's going to haul and I'm going to get my stuff done. I got JD loaded. He's been taking off now. We went through uh, the Google image of the plan. I showed him where to go. Now we're at the co-op. We're paying a $120,000 bill. Dad, don't you love it? That's farming. Okay, so we're switching up our nitrogen program a little bit this year. We are putting on urea and AMS and sulfur, yes, between uh, the first pass with the field cultivator and the second pass. So putting it on before we plant the corn, right? The 10 4. Okay, it's in my notes, so I can refer back. We're installing cords to make this Wi Fi connect with the Wi Fi in our other shop. Okay, so a reoccurring issue we've been having on the 9330 is that you can't get it to come out of park without like revving it up. Basically, they said it's like a pressure switch that needs to be switched out. Um, so getting that done today. Okay, some guys working on the internet. I have the John Deere guy working on the 9330. JD's here with him now. So I'm gonna go load a truck. So it's ready to go in the morning and dead left for a haircut. So lots of moving parts all at once. Okay, this is what's happening at 9330. There's none. Pressure, no pressure, and then there's a lot of pressure. We need to fix this. <laughs> that. Okay, we need to move the corn planter out. 
so that we can put the 9330 in here so we can drain the oil in it again. This is the issue, so it does not come out of park. You gotta like rev it up. Okay, so they're gonna take all of the oil out of the 9330 and we just cleaned out a whole bunch of buckets. We're hoping that we can pour that oil back in because it's new. My job now is to step off the distance in this area to see if we think we can fit the corn planter in this way. So it's very technical. fits in that one still. Okay, I kind of thought it would. Or maybe have to go sideways a little bit. Okay, JD and the mechanic are still trying to figure out the 9330. Uh, I don't know, I, I can't explain what's wrong with it, so I'm not gonna try to pretend like I can. I just started the truck up, gonna put some mail in the mailbox and I'm gonna haul a little bit and then depending on when I get back, I don't think I'll have another time, more time to take another load. I'm going to the airport with dad. We're gonna pick up my C store. Okay, we're gonna throw a three you had three hundred and seventy five dollar part at it. We're gonna cross our fingers. Valve. Regulating valve and we're all gonna pray. So send your prayers to Kent Family Harms. Thank you. Can you get her in here? Back from the airport actually perfectly timed. Uh, we got back when JD got back with the load, so it got loaded up and I'm gonna take the last one of the day. <laughs> I walk in and they say, this is the closest you're ever gonna get to the real thing. I don't think dad's doing for walking his together. <laughs> Good morning, it is Thursday. First up, I'm gonna haul a load of corn and then I have a fast line advisory meeting. I like, they, they do like a group of farmers and ask people like what they could do better and what they'd like to change and what they're doing good. Uh, those meetings are always really fun because I just like, I like seeing that like behind the scenes stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna haul a little bit more and Kenzie's gonna come with me. And then I have a meeting at one. It's, hold on. Okay, uh, my meeting at one is with a uh, like farming TV show. Uh, they do like per episode, they highlight a person. Um, I I know a few people that have been on it. I'm gonna just, see. <coughs> I know people that have been on it. I think it'd be a cool opportunity, but they want to come during planting season because they want to get footage of like, you know, actively farming stuff, which is great and awesome. I really like that. However, like we run a slim crew. I need to be doing the farming during planting season. Like I can't have, I can't have downtime for people to come in. And I, like last year during harvest, I had a crew that came in for just one day um, to get some footage for something. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna be like very upfront with them that like, I'd prefer they come at a different time, but then they won't get good footage. Um, they won't, I mean, they won't, they'd still get footage. They just wouldn't get like the prime time planting season footage. I don't know, we'll see.
I need to clean my screen. Okay, today I have my assistant with me filming all of the content. We're hauling corn. We have three loads. We're making JD haul one. That's good. Nice. So I was going like this to try to like file it a little, little bit. And you can see, look, it looks Okay, so we just left the shop. It's exactly noon. I have a meeting in exactly one hour. So if we don't get caught behind anyone at the elevator, we'll be fine. But if we do, we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. And I'm here too. <laughs> the and unpaid intern is back. And I and I sold some beans. I, I sold about three loads of beans. I don't know if it's a good decision or not. I'm just slowly selling them. Yay! And I am back, literally in the nick of time. My second call went good. Just ran around like a crazy person trying to find my wallet. It was in the Volvo. It just like slid back really far, so I'm gonna see it. Now we're running to a few towns over to get some last minute party supplies for my bachelorette this weekend. And then we poured it in that drink. Okay, it's Friday morning. Uh, today I'm not considering a work day. I've taken the day off. Kenzie and I are going to record our podcast, Sister Friends, and then um, I get packed still, and then one of my friends is coming over, and we're going to my bachelorette party. So that will be fun. I'm excited for this weekend. Uh, before that, I have one one meeting at 11 I need to do, but it'll it'll be an easy one. So. Happy Friday.